Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? It's a professional here. Here's part three of my walkthrough of Vice City, and you guys have requested me to do a longer part, so in this part, we're gonna knock out all of Colonel Cortez's and all of Avery Carrington's early missions. So let's do this right here. We're also gonna purchasing this max submachine gun. That's gonna come in handy a little later. Now let's go see the Colonel. I believe there's a pistol over here in the bushes. Let me just check, check right here. Yes, I was right. There is a pistol right here. Remember that from my childhood. Okay, get that. We got some more ammo for that handgun, and we got the Mac here. Okay, let's go see the Colonel. Treacherous Swine. I remember this mission. Mr. Versetti. Colonel. Thank you for coming. Please sit. Lobster. No, thanks. Uh, I am ashamed to admit that one of the causes of our mutual problem appears to have been the loose tongue of a man I used to trust. I've been carrying Gonzalez for years, but now his incompetence reaches new heights. It's only right that you kill Gonzalez. Did he do it? It's the money that's important to me. For well, this kindness, I'll reward you. And then we will find your money together. He will be at his penthouse, half drunk probably. Use this. This is definitely a reference to Scarface with the chainsaw. Go and kill Gonzalez. Now this this guy, he really deserves it. He really deserves it. If you play Vice City Stories, Vice City Stories Vic Vance, he's the um, brother of Lance Vance. He's actually the same guy who died at the beginning of this game at the deal. He, he's the other guy that Tommy met and he got sh gunned down there. The reason he, one of the reasons that he died is because of Gonzalez, because Gonzalez is that loose tongue. He's the guy who actually informed the third party of the deal going down. And it's actually a real, it's actually really messed up because Vic saved Gonzalez's life in Vice City Stories. Vic saved his life and this is how Gonzalez repays him. So Gonzalez really deserves it in this mission. He, especially if you play Vice City Stories, this guy really deserves it. Get over to his safe house, his penthouse. You know, the majority of people that when they do their oh, walkthroughs. The majority of people when they do their walkthroughs on YouTube, they just shoot the guy, but it's much better to use the chainsaw, the mission that you were provided, the, the weapon that you were provided with in this I'm mission. Double, dummy, double. But you're squealing. No one cares, Pat, so. Got him right there. There's a bribe. There's a bribe right next to Gonzalez's penthouse. Oh man, the cops in this game are so aggressive. You pick up this, you get one star less on this mission right away. Then go over the paint and spray. There we go. If anybody hasn't, I, I strongly suggest you play Vice City Stories if you really like Vice City. You know, you'll understand what I was talking about earlier of Gonzalez. I might do a walkthrough of Vice City Stories one day on my channel too. Okay, let's go over to Avery because his mission is actually right here. Oh.
Avery Carrington is actually voiced by Burt Reynolds. Rest in peace. Burt Reynolds did an excellent job at playing Avery Carrington. Come in and park yourself on the hide, son. Hell, my daddy used to say, never look a gift horse in the mouth. And by golly, he never did. Would you like a drop of the old Kentucky? No, thanks. A clean thinker. I like that. Now, the property business isn't all about highfalutin paper pushing. It's about dirt and the will to claim that dirt. You with me, son? Oh, yeah. Well, I need some tenacious bastard to let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here now, I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. This guy's my new friend. I never had a friend with a wig before. <laughs> Okay, let's get that golfing outfit. Now this mission, it's not really, this mission isn't really hard, but it can be a little, it can be a little frustrating when the guy gets in the golf court, the golf cart, and it's, it's gonna get a little frustrating chasing him down. Let's get that outfit. Is this me? Nice ass, baby. <laughs> Now a lot of people they uh they a lot of people like to do a glitch where they get over the fence, you know, they, they do they do a glitch where they get over the fence and they um and they still keep the guns, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to do the traditional way, you know, the way the mission is intended for you to do it. Pick up that health, get full 100% health. Still got this chainsaw. Might as well use it. Who is this guy? Boys, deal with him. Get him! Do that, psycho! Daddy gave me that. Got him. Okay, he didn't get it. He didn't get in the golf court. Golf cart. I got. Him. Got him right there. Okay. Let's get a change of clothes and uh yeah and we'll go see um Colonel Cortez next. Mall shootout. Tommy, come and join me. This looks delicious, eh? Tap your snout. No, oh, no, no, no thanks. Tommy, you are like a pompous breeze that has freed me from the stench of corruption. Although, I must appear to mourn his passing and carry on with business as usual. This isn't getting me any closer to my money. Tommy, my friend, you are not in liberty now. Here, we do things differently. I will continue with my... We definitely do things differently here. I have a valuable deal to close. A favor for a friend, Cortez? You're a good friend, Tommy. I knew you would not let me down. I need you to meet a courier who has obtained some valuable technology for me. Meet the courier at the mall. I remember this mission. This is what this is the mission that I got the max of machine gun for. He's getting some type of missile guidance chips from the French government. And then I remember the French go after him later. Oh, 
honey, you look a hot dish. The rain, she's très wet this time of the year. What? Ah, uh, comment? Look, Cortez sent me. Just give me the damn chips. Oh, d'accord. Freeze imperialist American pig. That is propriété de a gouvernement français. Hand it over. You American idiot. They followed you here. Feed him Shoot for the You got to do better, Mr. Yen. This is the GIGN, which is the French Special Forces. Back to the colonel. Ah. That was the problem with the motorcycles in the older GTA games. They're even more sensitive than in the newer ones. You gotta be really careful when you drive motorcycles. Yeah, let's not take a motorcycle anymore. I need a car now. I don't care what kind of car it is. Got to get a little bit away from them. I don't want them to I don't want them to pull me out. Got it. Let's go do his next mission right away. Tomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. I've dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, then go and watch over Diaz's men at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Diaz, huh. Apparently that angry midget runs this madhouse. Let's see what that creep has to do with things. <laughs> And all the action I see. Look, you want to do something other than just shadowing me everywhere? Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tommy Versetti. Let's go. The Kruger is an assault rifle which allows you to manually aim in first person. Kruger, it's based on the Mini-14, I think. That gun, I don't think, made any other appearances in any other GTA game. I think it's only Vice City with that assault rifle. You 
You must be called Tete's new gun. Until more gainful opportunities arise. They'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay, I'll take the balcony. You get the roof across the yard. Here come the Cubans. Watch over the deal, making sure Diaz and Lance are safe. I'm next in line, man. This is what I call serious business, man. <laughs> You son of a bitch! Got him. My money. Don't just stand there, you pricks. Chase that thick head down. Give me that. Okay, let's go get the meat money back to Diaz now. I live! Take head! And it's all down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo, I think. Shit. Where's that guy, Lance? Yeah, uh, Diaz is one of the most obnoxious characters in the GTA universe. Let's go see, um, let's go see Avery, but I think we might get a phone call, let's see. Yep. Tommy, it's Ricardo Diaz. I want to thank you for looking out for me, my man. I asked that prick on set, he said you're the real deal, my friend. Will you not come see me? I need a guy like you. All I have now is dickheads. Dickheads everywhere, yo. I make you real rich. Okay, now we got Diaz's missions unlocked. I think the Colonel might give us one phone call also. I think, I'm pretty sure he gives you more than one phone call. I know he calls at the end also, but... Get this because we don't want to have an accident on the bike, you know. Daddy needs change for what is this? Demolition man. Oh man, this is the mission that everybody hates. This mission. Now look here, son. I got a problem, and I reckon you could help me with it. I'm no builder. No, I was thinking more of your demolition skills. 
Now this here, this is the development as planned, and this, this is the property that we're looking at. You're trying to say this new office block is kind of in the way. You catch on quick. Now I'm gonna head out of town for a while, and if that office development would have faced sudden and insurmountable structural problems, then I... As a civil-minded individual, you feel obliged to step in and save the rejuvenation of an important area of the city. Where can I get more guys like you? Now this mission, a lot of people really hate this mission, and I mean they really hate this mission, but I actually don't think this mission is that bad. If you master like the RC controls, it's not that bad, but if you play this on mobile, this is an absolute, this mission is an absolute nightmare on mobile. But if you master the RC controls, I don't think this mission is that bad. Use the RC helicopter to transport bombs to four demolition points on the building site. You must place one bomb on each target. You can place bombs in any order. I'm gonna do this on my first attempt also to show you guys. I've mastered the controls on the RC helicopter. Drop a bomb, press the circle button. Okay. Okay, got it. Okay, let's go place the first bomb then. There we go, first bomb's planted. What I found weird about this mission is why why do you have to use an RC helicopter? Why can't you just why can't you just go in and plant the bombs yourself? But got that one. Now there's uh, gonna be barrels that you have to place the bombs on on each floor. What was that? There we go. Just need two more bombs. Let's go get them. More than halfway done. There we go, one more bomb left. Last bomb. Let's go finish off this building.
Last one. Crush, kill, demolish. And look at that. One of the hardest missions in the game done on my first attempt here. So I don't think this mission is that bad if you master the controls of the helicopter. Got it. Am I supposed to be getting any more phone calls here? I don't think I'm going to be getting any more phone calls. Okay, then I guess I'll, um, I'll end it right here, guys. I hope that you guys are enjoying this walkthrough of GTA Vice City. It's knocked out one of, the, one of the hardest missions in the game. Well, again, I said not that bad. If you, really, if you really master the controls in the RC helicopter, you'll get used to it. But that mission on mobile is just so terrible. So if you guys are enjoying this video, I mean, drop a like if you're enjoying this series. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you think of the missions. Take care, everyone.